Storing data efficiently is what databases are all about. But of course, the more work you put into the database itself and into entering and refining its contents, the bigger your investment in it. Sooner or later, you're likely to want to give some attention to security to safeguard that investment. I'd probably be remiss if I didn't point out that the first step towards security is to keep frequent backups of your database. If you make a habit of making backup copies, sooner or later when some mishap occurs, you'll be very glad of them. Remember that with a database, you're not only backing up the information the file contains, but also any changes or additions to the file structure, the layouts, or other parts of what might be called the infrastructure of the solution. Backing up is a good first measure, but at some point you'll probably also want to consider adding password protection and creating different levels of access for different purposes. For example, you might set one account and password that lets you change the file structure, the layouts and so on, and a separate account and password that only allows changes to the data. To make a file secure, you'll need to pay a visit to the Manage Security dialog. When a file is created, FileMaker gives you a very basic security setup by creating some standard privilege configurations, and by default it enables an account which it names Admin. The default privilege sets are named in a way that makes them fairly self-explanatory, providing full access, data entry only, or read-only access. However, you can create your own additional privilege sets that you can configure to a high level of detail to determine the access to all elements in your file and also to determine what actions a user can and can't take. The default admin account is created with no password and it's assigned the full access privilege set. You need to have at least one account with full access in order to be able to make changes to the data structure but you can create as many or as few additional accounts as you need. To give you an idea of how this works, I'm going to create a data entry account called user with a password of something. The new account starts out with an active status and requires that you select a privilege set. So I'll choose the data entry only privilege set from the default set of privilege sets. When I click OK, you can see that the user account has been added to the list of accounts and the checkbox at the left is ticked to make the account active. While I'm here, I also want to specify a password for the existing full access account. I'll select the account and click the Edit button, and then I'm able to enter a password into the Edit Account dialog. Let's make the password for this account everything. I'm setting very simple passwords at this stage to keep things easy, but if your files contain sensitive information, more obscure passwords would be a good idea. It's important to know that account names are not case sensitive, but passwords are, so you'll need to remember exactly how you type to your passwords. Once I've made changes to the security settings, when I click the OK button to exit the Manage Security dialog, FileMaker always prompts me to enter the name and password of a full access account. This is designed to make it less likely that I'll accidentally lock myself out of a file. So I'll enter the name of the admin account, and the password, which was everything, and click OK, and the Manage Security dialog is now dismissed. Now that I've set some very basic security constraints on this file, let's see if it's working. First I'll close the file, and then try to reopen it. I'll double click on its name in the Recent Files list. Notice that FileMaker now prompts me for an account name and password before I can proceed. If I enter the details for the account that is restricted to data entry only, I can now edit the information in the file, so I can change a name in a field. But I have no access to layout mode. You can see the layout mode command is dimmed. And also the manage commands on the file menu are inaccessible, as are all other commands that would allow me to change the way the database works. When I close the file and open it again using the full access account, Admin, and Everything, I'm again able to access all the commands and to change any aspect of the file. 